Okay, so let me share my screen. And let's look for an infinity minus infinity. This one, um, it's a similar situation, but I have to find the least common denominator, and it changes into a ratio right away. So there is nothing I can do there. Okay, I'd like to work on this one. 56. Let me copy it, and I'll stop sharing. So limit as x approaches infinity from x minus natural log x. Okay. So um, in this situation, obviously this is infinity, and obviously this is also infinity. So remember the graph of natural log. So there isn't much I can do here, uh, except I have to show you that y equals x Uh, will always go to infinity faster than this. So I really can't do anything here. But I can graph. In this case, I really can explain more. So we can graph, and I have my... Uh, where are... Uh, where is it? Right here. Okay. So y equals uh, x minus... Uh, natural log x, and if you want to graph, um, I'm going to change the viewing window uh, from 0 to 100, oops, I didn't mean that, from 0 to 100 with a scale of 20, and from 0 to 100 with a scale of 20. You see what happens here. Sorry. That's not what I meant. I meant x is one function. I want natural log as a second function. The calculator doesn't, cannot read my mind, can it? It should do it. Every now and then. So, uh, as you see, at infinity, uh, the linear function grows so much faster, the natural log is blah, so this takes over, so the answer is infinity. That's what I meant to show you. So in my graph, the uh, x is the blue function and uh, natural log is the red function. So here, I, I, there is nothing I can do with this. Okay, so let's look uh, if there is anything else. If not, let's focus on, on the powers because they are uh, the most difficult ones. And not, I wouldn't say difficult, but very long. Some of them very long. Okay, so here are the powers. Starting from 57. Blah, blah, blah to a power. Blah, blah to a power. Everything, as you see here, everything is raised to a power. So... Not this, this is a ratio, uh, then this. So anything that catches your eye anywhere between, we have to look at at least uh, three, I would say, maybe more, from 57 through 70. Let's start with 59. Let's start with 59, very good. So 59, let me copy it, I'll stop sharing. So limit, as x approaches 0, 1 minus 2x raised to 1 over x. Great job, thank you. Okay, so obviously this is going where, and this is going where. The, uh, the portion in parentheses is going negative infinity. Careful, careful, yeah. careful. X approaches zero. Good. And now where does this go when x approaches 0? To 0. Careful. Earth. That's okay. That's okay. So 1 over x, right? Infinity. You could say, but wait a minute. If x approaches 0 from either side, this could be what? 
It could be DNA, right? Right? So it's one to infinity. One over zero approaches infinity from the right hand side and negative infinity from the left hand side, from either side. So to be exact, if I, if I had written this book, I would have put in here uh, zero from the right. In here. Not, not leave it as x approaches zero from either side. Okay? I, I don't really uh, like that, to be honest. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put zero from the right, because that's the correct sequence. Okay, so I have this situation, which is a power, which is not friendly at all. Now, we had something in the past, in chapter 3, 2 and 3. When we looked at the function raised to another function, anyone remembers what we did? Yes, the question was different, but uh, I'm sure you remember what we did at that time. It's not the same type of question, I understand, but we did something. Something to do with natural laws? Exactly, exactly. So we take this function, we call it y, we apply natural log to both sides, When I apply natural log to this side, the power goes in front as a factor, and I get this. So this is step number one. I'm going to try to, at least at the beginning, identify the steps so everyone can follow easily. So in step number one, I named the function y. In step number two, I applied natural log to both sides. In step number three, I apply limit to both sides. So that limit, of course, limit as x approaches zero from the side, from the left, I'm sorry, from the right of natural log y must equal limit as x approaches zero from the right from this. Now you can say stop, and I'll stop. And you could say also, what are you doing? This is not what the problem is asking you to do. Nobody's asking you to find the limit of the natural log. True. Nobody's asking me to find the limit of the natural log. The limit is, is determined from y, not from natural log y. And then my answer would be, bear with me till the end, and you'll see what happens. Good. So I'm determining the limit from the natural log y, and I have this limit now. Let's figure out what this is. What is it? Anyone I haven't heard today? Derek, Isaac, Gabriel, anyone? Is it zero over zero? Thank you very much. Great job. So then it's clear now what I have to do. This is music to my ears. This is music to my ears. This is music to my ears. Good, so then the numerator. Anyone else will give us the derivative of the numerator, Josh? Yes, Gabriel, go ahead. Yeah, um, 1 over 2x. So when we differentiate, yes, one over one over one minus two x multiplied by. In a function of negative two. Very good, awesome. And the derivative of the denominator that I know is one. Finally, what does this equal to? Can anyone give us the answer? Two over one minus two x. So when x approaches zero. What do we get? Negative 2. Do we all see it? Yes? 
everyone? Is that a yes or a no? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Good. So now in step four, I copy the beginning and I copy the end, not the rest in the middle. So I have limit as x approaches zero from the right, natural log y equals negative two. And now I want to refresh your memory under continuity we are allowed to write the limit of f of g of x as x approaches a as under conditions of continuity I'm allowed to swap the operators f of the limit of g of x as x approaches a under conditions of continuity swapping of operators did we do this before? yes we said uh, limit of the square root of x as x approaches 0 from the right is the square root of limit of x as x approaches 0 from the right I swap the operator position of the operator limit with the square root operator. I put the square root outside and the limit inside. We've, did, we've done this from a long time ago with uh, limit laws. A long time in chapter 2. So that's the theorem. It's not called the swapping of the operators, but I just wanted you to remember it. So under conditions of continuity, we can do this. So what's all this? What do you think I'm going to do here based on what I just explained? What do you think I'm going to write? Natural log of exactly. I'm going to swap these two. Awesome. Natural log of limit as x approaches 0 from the right from y. And this is what I'm trying to determine. I want the limit blah, blah, blah of y. Okay, so now, let me refresh our memory. Natural log of um, x equals y is equivalent to, knowing that the base is e, we don't write it, e raised to y equals x. e raised to y equals x. So this is a very important property uh, that states that any log equation can be changed into an exponential, double equivalency, and any exponential equation can be changed into a log equation. So, knowing that, what will you say that the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of y, and I'm going to copy now 1 minus 2x raised to 1 over x equals 2. based on what we just discussed. Anyone? Does that equal the natural log of limit y? Or no? E raised to this power equals that. That's why I wrote it here. Oh. E raised to negative 2 equals this. And that's our answer. Any questions?